All right, I'm here with Van. Welcome back, Van. Or I guess you're welcoming us, but this is the second time we've had you on. I'm glad we can rejoin the conversation on some cool gaming gear. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see you, and I'm always really excited to show you guys all the latest stuff that we have at Gigabyte and Aorus. So here at CES, you can see right behind us, we have a couple cool stuff to show you guys. All right, so we got to get a closer look at what's going on with this system here. Uh, you got to tell me what's inside this, because it looks like this great machine combination of like a test bench, but in something that's also like a modern work of art. Pretty much, it's, it's just as much of a, a nice decoration as well as a high-end gaming PC. So this is one that we built in partnership with Thermaltake. So that's why you can kind of see a lot of the Thermaltake hardware in there paired with Aorus hardware. We have the latest Thermaltake Core P9Ks. That's that's kind of the, the, the nice um, display uh, showcase thing that you're seeing here. We also have custom water loop a custom water cooling put together by Thermaltake and that's all being powered off of Aorus hardware. So we have our new Aorus uh, motherboards on there as well as our graphics cards. And you can see like the flashing lights on it, right? That's really obvious. That's using our latest Aorus RGB Fusion ecosystem. And so um, you're going to send us one of these? This is the one we're going to take back to the studio? Is that... I'd... Someone said we were going to get a sample and I just want one. Um, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish. This is phenomenal. Wouldn't be Gigabyte's appearance at a trade show without some eye candy, right? So I, we were all taken with these custom builds just running down this row. Okay, you gotta walk me through what's going on in the system right now. I mean, even just to the bubbler and the water cooler, this is fantastic. So this is a system built by a professional modder. They are there. He is called Envious Mods. This PC is completely custom. You see a lot of hand-built modifications done to it. So this whole PC system is called the Synapse, which you can kind of see here. We have a couple you know, high-end custom shrouds built around our cards. We also have acrylics inside here that are custom made for our motherboard. So you can see it's really, really, um, it's got a ton of great detail inside of this system and it's, it just looks awesome. Who did this XS PC? This PC is from another one of our hardware partners. This is from CyberPower PC. We have our custom water block GTX 1080 in there, along with our new X29 motherboard. This is a brand new refresh. This is X29 Gaming 7 Pro motherboard that we're showcasing for the first time here at CES. And combining this with some of just the accents in the Chrome too is really sharp. So when they were putting this system together, were you, was Gigabyte sort of influencing the design or did you just give them a bunch of parts and say hey make something really cool we just gave them our shiniest parts and then we let them do whatever they do best that's awesome okay and now this one here big red this is built by cybertron um, these guys specialize in really high-end pc systems and you can see from this thing it's really massive it's really huge we have a custom dual looped water system here so you have you have two different um closed loop systems in there. That's why there's the two different colors and they're each cooling individual parts. So one of them's cooling the graphics cards, the other one's cooling the uh, CPU. And cool thing for this one too is that that water block that you see right there, that's made for from EK specifically for our motherboard. Oh, wow. So this is the first time that we're showing it here at CES. So it's a really, really high end stuff on this PC. This is another crazy Thermaltake build here. Um, what's going on in this case? So this one, again, we're using Thermaltake hardware, but this is built from our friends up north in Canada. We have a bunch of tempered glass on the outside, kind of encapsulating a bunch of RGB hardware inside. Um, we have 1080s, we have X29 motherboards. Would this be something that you would hope your customers would aspire to? Or are these systems that people could actually go out and purchase on their own? Actually, these are systems that people can buy today. So all they need to do is just go onto our partners' websites, such as uh, Iberpower, Cyberpower, Canada Computers. These systems are all available to order, um, along with the latest and greatest Aorus hardware inside of it. Okay, moving from the high-end battle station room, I think this is gonna be a big play for a lot of companies, a lot of manufacturers, CES this year, is how can we expand into living rooms, into lifestyle? So our approach, our philosophy behind this room is to target more of those mainstream guys who are looking to build up their home entertainment system or putting a nice uh, high-end PC in their living room setup. So all this that you see behind you is gonna be powered off of one of our, our mini PCs. It's called the Bricks Mini PC. 
and we're actually hooking up an external graphics card with a GTX 1080 in it. So you have your little mini tiny PC powered by a whole 1080 and that's all fit in a shelf right behind us. So it's really small, really compact and it's perfect for our home entertainment system. I'm seeing the setup. So I mean, this is already like Vive compatible. Consumers aren't gonna have to worry about if they're investing in a strong enough system. So it, it'll flip back and forth. I can, I can stream my Netflix if I want to do something like that and then throw on a headset and really get in deep if I want. We think that VR is perfect for more of a living room setup because you have so much more space to play with, you know, because not everyone's going to have space behind their gaming desk to play VR. You, know, you might smash your $3,000 PC. So I think it's better to put it inside a living room where you have more space and more freedom to kind of move around and kind of just enjoy yourself. Moving it to the living room seems like the next big play. Is that is that one of the ideas where Aorus and Gigabyte are trying to move gaming out of just this one sort of desk battle station rig. Is that where you think the future of the line is going to be is on this VR platform? The traditional gaming desktops will always remain our core, but we are definitely looking to expand more and, and go kind of beyond and start to incorporate more of that lifestyle approach that we talked about earlier. That's why we have those Bricks Mini PC that kind of cover that lifestyle approach. So whether you're a casual gamer or whether you're looking to build a home entertainment system or whether you're like a super hardcore overclocker, Oris has you covered the whole entire range. So uh, thank you so much for walking us around. And um, where can people maybe find a little bit more information as the show's going on, some of the new product announcements that Gigabyte's gonna be revealing? So for the latest updates on Aorus, we do a lot of announcements on our social media platforms. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We also, you know, also check out our website, gigabyte.us. We have all the latest news announcements released on there. All right, thanks so much. I really appreciate it.